Hi everyone, my name is Julien and welcome to Alien Tech Tips. Today we're going to be looking into how to integrate uh, any of our samples very easily using a tool called Gitpod without any kind of local setup. You can find all our uh, samples on github slash alien examples. This is the Java sample, but you can do anything you want. The first thing we're going to be doing is logging into the customer area, just like usual, go to developers and API credentials. Here, you want to create a new API credential. In that case, I've already done it. You want to look into your API key. Then you also want to save your client key. And one th last thing you want to be doing is add all of the subdomains of gitpod.io to the list of allowed origins so your samples can run on them. Then add and save the changes. Once that is done, there is one more thing we want to be doing. We want to go to gitpod.io slash variables, log in using a method of your choice. In my case, that would be GitHub and add a few environment variables. First one's API key, second one is client key. We're going to add a new one, which is the Alien Merchant account, which is the name of your merchant account that you have. In my case, that would be Langrand Icon. I'm going to be using the global scope so that all of the workspaces of Gitpod will, work, will have access to those environment variables. Once we have done that, we can actually go back in any of the samples we want and click on the Open Gitpod button. This will take a few seconds the first time because Gitpod is going to clone the project import all the dependencies in the background, start the project and everything else. But you only have to wait here, nothing else. By default, it will fire up a VS Code editor, but in the web. You can change those settings uh, in Gitpod. Many things are available, such as IntelliJ or local VS Code, for example. As the editor startup, you will also see a few pop-ups show up. They're absolutely normal. They offer you to install extensions, for example, or simply run the uh, VS Code workspace on your local machine. As the process starts up, you will see a browser show up. The browser will run the sample locally inside the VS Code installation, which is very powerful. You can use that URL as you wish. For example, sharing with colleagues or customers, trying it out. It will be available as long as the Gitpod workspace is active. Now, let's go back to our Gitpod workspace and try to pay. We're gonna click on drop-in, which is available, and continue to check out. And here we're gonna select a credit card. We can actually Google for Alien test card numbers. We have a page that's very useful for that, which gives you a lot of options. We're going to select the first one, copy it, go back to Kitpod and paste it. We're going to set up the expiry date and enter the CVC as well as our name and validate the payment. And that's it. We've actually created our first payment using an Alien integration within minutes. Now, there is one more thing that we want to dive into, and that's very important. Those are webhook events. Webhook events allow you to validate the status of payments and receive them in your backend. So let's go and set that up. We're going to actually call it copy the URL of our Gitpod workspace, go back into our customer area, click on developers, webhook, and create a new webhook. Standard notification is going to be fine, for example. We're going to go to server configuration and paste the URL here. Now, we also want to add the default path for our uh, webhook endpoints on our samples, and that's API webhook notifications. Click on apply. Then we're also going to set up an HMAC key, generate it, copy it, apply, save our webhook. Don't forget to enable it. Now we're going to go back to our sample, and we're going to set one more environment variable. It's going to be the ADN HMAC key, which we're going to need to validate the incoming webhooks. Set up and restart our sample, in that case using Gradle. Once the sample is running again, we're going to try the same thing again. Go to test card numbers, copy our card number, go back to the sample. This time you can click on card and enter all the necessary information. For example, expiry date, CVC, and in this case, the name as well. Click on validate and boom, we've just received a new event on our webhook endpoint. That's authorization endpoint and it has a specific PSP reference. And that's all there is to it. We've set up a new integration using Gitpod within seconds. So it's your turn now. Go and check out our audience samples and try out the one you like the most.